Oh, good day there, guys. Mr. Ross Adventure here, and I'm coming at you today from the Fassifern Valley. Hello, cows. So, where exactly is the Fassifern Valley, and what am I doing out here? I hear you ask. Well. Fassifern Valley is uh, about an hour and a half or so west of the Gold Coast and I am heading up into those mountains and I'm going to meet up with a heap of guys on V-Stroms and have lunch with them. It's a bit of a Suzuki V-Strom meetup and this meetup is organised by the Facebook group, the V-Strom Australia Facebook group. I will throw a link to that in the description down below so if you own a Suzuki V-Strom in Australia and would like to uh, join a community of like-minded individuals on Facebook and they also have a website with a forum. You can check them out in the links down below. Good bunch of people online. I'm about to meet some of them for the first time in the flash. Should be a good day. Hopefully it won't get wet. It's fairly cloudy up there in the mountains. Let's see how we go. So I'm in a little town called Aratula at the moment on the Cunningham Highway, heading towards Warwick. I'm not gonna go that far. I'm gonna go up and over the mountain up to a little town called Marmar Creek. And it's at the Marma Creek Cafe where we're meeting for lunch. I'm going to turn off here to Lake Mugara. One of my uh, early videos was filmed in a kayak on Lake Mugara. I'll uh, throw a link to that on the screen right now. It's an awesome place to go camping. Very scenic, surrounded by all this mountain range up there. Onward to the mountains. Woo Right, so the area that I'm passing through now is on the Cunningham Highway and it's an area known as Cunningham's Gap. It is the gap through the mountains and it's pretty spectacular. I can already feel the air getting very, very cold in my vents. It is still pretty hot, even though it looks pretty misty around. And it is April, it's still fairly hot up here. So I'm still wearing my vents in my jacket to cool me down, but uh, I probably don't need them right at this point in time going up this hill. Have a look up there, would you? That is awesome. My God, the views up here are stunning. You can see for miles. Have a look at that mountain in front of us, the mist on top of it. I'm sure the camera's not picking that up as good as my eyes are. It is amazing. Traffic! So much fun. I think we're nearly at the top anyway. Let's see if we can sneak a little bit of a stand up and look down there. You see Lake Mogara down there. Dam. That is an impressive view. Wow. Hello horsey people. It's like the wild west out here. Look at all that, that old rusty farm machinery. Aside from being on a main road, that would be an awesome place to live. Okay, so I'm turning off the main Cunningham Highway now, which goes into Warwick, and I'm heading back up into the hills towards Toowoomba. I've never been on this road, and I've never been on the road that I'm going to be going up shortly. I've never done anything in these hills at all. It's going to be awesome to check them out and do a bit of exploring. Alright, I'm turning right off the New England Highway now. If I continue on that, that takes me through to Toowoomba. Right into the middle of it all, I'm heading towards Gatton now, which is over back towards the Warrego Highway. And we've got some twisty hills coming up. It's supposed to be a really good ride this road. Let's uh, check it out. Well, here we are now at the Darling Down Zoo. Tiny little place. Real country zoo feel about it. It's home of the white lion. Whatever that means. I suppose they've got a lion that's an albino or something. I just ride around in the paddock and look like a general tool and take a photo of the bike and then I'll continue on my way. Oh Jesus. God damn that is soft. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> that went over past the point of no return. Nearly. That's better. My God. <laughs> wow, I just love it through here. This pit is awesome. So scenic. I'm taking it pretty easy because I don't know the road. I've never been here at all. I have no idea what's around each corner. Heifer Creek crossing number two. I'm going backwards through these. I think I've crossed it about six or seven times. This is absolutely stunning through here. I really like the scenery through this valley. It reminds me of bits of Putty Road, sort of, but not quite. It's definitely got that feel about it though, with the creek running down there and uh, big cliffs going up either side. My God, that is a steep gorge down there. That's, that's a long way down. All these houses dotted in there though. God, they've been there for a long time. There's some old houses in there. Heifer Creek, crossing number one. Goodbye Heifer Creek, that was awesome. 
Bring on Ma Ma Creek now. Come on Ma. Ma Ma Creek, where are ya? Well, just because that's Ma Ma Creek doesn't mean I'm here. It could be a long creek before I get to the cafe. My golly, this is a good road though. I like it through here. I like it a lot. Alright, so here we are. Here we are in Mama Creek. So the cafe is going to be wherever there's a whole heap of V-Stroms parked, I guess. There we go. I see two V-Stroms just over there. Let's make it three. So we're just leaving the V-Strom meet up now and riding back towards Gatton and uh, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. That was an awesome little meet up uh, with some great people, great guys to meet, really casual, really friendly. Everyone's got V-Stroms, everyone's got the same sort of gear to show off. Showing off this and that on each other's bike and uh, looking at various different modifications everyone's done. It's always good. You know how it is. Ah, Queensland Transport Museum, I've heard of that. I had no idea where it was. I can't remember where I've seen it, but I've seen photos of the place and a bit of a ride up on it. I reckon it's fairly interesting. Ah, there's the main road over there, the Warrego Highway. I've never been through here before. This is quite cool coming this way. We're just entering Forest Hill now and uh, I can't see a forest. Warrego Hill. It's a little bit of a hill over there, but not much. A few trees on it. That's surely not a forest and not worthy of the name Forest Hill. What are they on about? Come on. I have no idea where we're going, I'm just following the leader and hoping for the best. I'm sure we're not, but it feels like we're going around in circles to me. Anyway, that's a nice little tour through this area, checking out the old country towns. Whee! Nice little twisty bends through the centre of town over the train tracks and past the pub. It's all happening here. Laidley, eh? This is thriving metropolis of Laidley. Laidley, Laidley, lay upon my big brass bed. Look at these old houses, eh? They're pretty cool. Love the old houses in these old Queensland country towns. It's always good to get out in the country and see how the other half live. Everything's unique and different. Not like being in the city where everything looks the same, in the suburbs and everything. This is what's good about motorcycling. You just get out and you see different things and Everything's unique. See you guys. See you next time. Ah, oh, well there you have it guys. That is the end of the Suzuki V-Strom meetup at Mar Mar Creek. I rode back with half of the guys that were heading back to Brisbane and I have just turned off. And I'm going the back road to the Gold Coast via Boona. The way I came in is so I've just done a big loop around out here through the hills and I'm going to end up back where I came in from. It was an awesome little meetup. Great to meet a lot of new faces. Some guys I'd known through Facebook, other guys I'd known through the Strong Trooper forum that I had actually met once before. So it's good to meet them again. And uh, yeah, awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. See ya.